how is the country preparing uh, for to handle the influx of fans uh, and travelers during the World Cup? And obviously, you know, with re respect to the existing laws when it comes to alcohol in particular. So, how, as the CEO of the World Cup, how do you plan to handle the same? So, the Supreme Committee and uh, different stakeholders in the state of Qatar are working hard to make sure that the fan experience is paid special uh, attention to. Uh, we have no doubt that the amount of um, activities uh, on the entertainment side, on the hospitality side, on the F&B side, is going to be something uh, unforgettable. Uh, however, experiences in the desert that we're t uh, paying sp uh, special attention to, sea experiences that we're paying uh, special attention to, as an overall package, we, we believe it's going to be something quite unique that the fans will enjoy. When it comes to the uh, subject of alcohol, I mean, this is something that people, especially in the media, have always raised. Uh, I mean, yes, Qatar is a conservative country. Uh, however, Qatar is a hospitable country. Um, hospitality is in our DNA. And we make sure that people who come and visit or who live there feel, feel hospitable. And we understand that it is in some people's culture to drink alcohol. Alcohol is legal in Qatar. It might be a little bit more restrictive than, than many countries around the world. However, it is available. And during the World Cup, we'll make sure that there are designated areas where people who want to enjoy their drink can enjoy their drink. Do you think that talks of a 48-team World Cup, of co-hosting or sharing the World Cup with uh, certain neighboring countries? Let me make this clear. There's still a feasibility study taking place right now. There's also a consultation process that's taking place right now. At the end of the feasibility and the consultation process, we will be presented with the findings. Ultimately, the decision lays with us, we with the state of Qatar. So the state of Qatar has a um, bid for this as a World Cup with 32 teams in Qatar. And we are still open, the country is still open, Qatar is still open to look at the feasibility study. We now, as, as a joint venture responsible for organizing this World Cup, we are working on the plans of a 32-team World Cup in Qatar. Subsequent to that, I think by June we will know the direction that will be taken and at this point what I can tell you is we're planning working towards a 32 team World Cup in Qatar.